Hi, my name is Tyler Hutchinson, and I'm going to be doing the uh, film review for Remember the Titans. Um, it was released in 2000, um, and it deals in the African-American culture. Um, so there were a bunch of issues with race in this movie. Um, a couple of scenes uh, I'm just going to describe, you know, um, to show you how bad um, people were treated back then. Um, Coach Boone, which is the, the main coach that comes in, um, is moving into the neighborhood, um, and it shows scenes from inside the house, um, where you can see, like, the neighbors looking through their blinds, but you're, like, in the house of the neighbor, um, you can see that, that coming through, and they're looking at Coach Boone and all them moving in, um, and they're saying a bunch of very derogatory remarks, um, like, it only takes one, and then we'll be overrun by them, um, and other stuff like that, um, another situation, uh, is where Coach Bill Yost um, is the old coach that is being replaced by Coach Boone, um, is announcing his retirement um, because the school board replaced him. Um, the parents um, before, um, it was an all-white school, um, and they were going to merge them um, for, I can't remember if it was the school or the state wanted to do it, um, but they have a merger, and they're putting um, Coach Boone um, in charge of the football team instead of uh, Coach Yost. Um, and they have basically all the old parents there, so they're all the, the white families there. Um, and one of the parents stands up and says, this is outrageous, and we're not going to play with a coach um, like that. Um, and says some other pretty bad stuff that I'm not going to say. Um, and other remarks um, completely, you know, about race and stuff like that, saying how they're going to boycott the season um, because they don't want to be dealing with that kind of coach. Um Another thing is that two of the white players were talking to Coach Boone before they left for one of their training camps, um, and they're demanding half the open spots on offense and special teams are for white-only players, um, and while defense doesn't need any of the incoming African-American students or players because it's all filled up and they don't need anybody, um, and then Coach Boone sets them straight through that, um, and that's kind of where it starts, where they start to finally respect them a little bit, um, but... It is pretty pretty bad, some of these things. Um, in order to bond the teams together um, and mesh the races together to actually treat them like actual people, like treat each other like actual people, um, Coach Boone wants a report um, from each person of family interests, what they do, mom, dad, anything like that, jobs, um, what they used to do, um, how they've, how, I don't know, how they've helped them, a bunch of stuff, like a bunch of personal information to get to know them and not just see them as, like, a player, see them as more of, like, a friend, a brother, stuff like that. Um, there are, that's about the end of the, uh, the situations that I'm going to describe for the race and everything like that, because it's pretty, you know, heavy in the movie, it's one of the big themes about it. Um, there were actually a couple, or there was, like, one gender issue that I saw in the movie, um, where... Yost's daughter, um, she really likes football, always stayed around him, coached or helped him coach and all that, um, was giving compliments to Coach Boone, um, the daughter was, um, he told Yost that he needed to get her dolls or something, um, instead of football, and he goes, well, I, I tried, but she loves football, and that's, you know, about as much as I can do with her, um, other than that, there really wasn't too much, there's really no difference in religion or anything like that, um, there really is no age discrimination, um, the coaches are basically like father figures later on in the movie. It takes pretty pretty quick for them to actually start seeing this father figure thing like that. Um, but once it happens, they just, anything he says, they trust, they go with, anything like that. Um, the movie made me feel an array of emotions. So it was kind of embarrassing, all the race stuff, seeing people like actually believe what they're saying, like how they're not the same and stuff like that. Um, it was pretty, it was pretty good to watch the, the football team win and mesh together and stuff like that. Um, it was pretty sad at one point too, because of one of the characters getting into a car crash and then later up dying, which brings everyone back together. Um, uh, it was pretty, it was, it was a lot. It was a lot ups, downs, stuff like that. Um, there were a few obvious conflicts, which was, you know, race, and if the football team could operate like normal with the new coach um, who was African-American and new African-American players as well. Um, the resolution, they completely smoked. They didn't smoke every team, but they beat pretty much every single team by a lot, um, and so it just proved that they can go on just like normal. 
Um, it was solved in basically a satis- <coughs> excuse me, um, a satisfying way, except some of the parents and players who held grudges and couldn't get past that and couldn't open up to something new like that. Um, so they ended up leaving the, the team and basically leaving the movie at that point. Um, honestly, I could not imagine myself in any kind of situation like that, um, especially because that was the social normal and stuff like that, like, of the times. It, it's kind of hard to put myself in that position without, you know, with the knowledge that I have now um, and the way that it's just normal for us, for everyone to just be all together. I don't know. It's 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 hard to, to think about to be in that situation. Uh, but I, I thought this movie was a 5 out of 5. I think it's a really good movie, and I would definitely have watched it a few more times since I watched it the last time for uh, the review. All right, that's, that's about all I got. Thank you for uh, watching this.